Krista and Alex from Rock and Road. Today we're out uh, just a few minutes from home and we are looking for some fluorescent rocks on the beach near our house. So uh, we'll see what we find. I found a uh, nice little coral fossil that glows under UV light. It's hard to see when it's right on though. So. I think it's a brick. <laughs> Show it in regular light. So this is not a brick, uh, but it shows up like real, real red under my black light, but not under your black light, because they're different wavelengths. A little bit. A little bit. Let's keep it and look at it better at home. So cutting away to the shop for a second, these are what we were hoping to find on the beach that night. Um, they are called Uperlites or Uper stones. They have a mineral called cyanite in them that fluoresces under black light. So it looks like like this. One second. So we were hoping to find some of these on the beach because you can find them um, throughout the Great Lakes, although they're more frequently found up in Michigan. I should also note that we were using two different flashlights. I was using a UV Beast Mini. Um, it has a 365 nanometer wavelength. Um, Alex was just using a cheap UV light from Amazon that's a 395 um, nanometer. So they look a little bit different under the black light, so we saw different things. Um, they're still both long wave UV lights, but uh, Different wavelengths show different things. I'll show you that too. So, you saw what they look like under mine. This is the 365 nanometer, so it's going to be a little bit uh, higher quality wavelength. And then, his isn't going to show up quite as bright, and it's going to have more of a purple glow. It doesn't have as much of a filter in there, so you can still see that they fluoresce but they don't have the same um, look to them. Here, maybe we can show the difference. So the thing with the city is there's a lot that's actually fluorescent. A lot of uh, uh, cement. Ooh, don't want to be seen in the water. As well as uh, zebra mussels. Here. There's a piece of, I think it's just a slag glass, but it glows blue. And then what did you find? Ooh. Yours is probably also slag, but like, that's a nice orange hue under the black light. Should we keep them? I don't care. <laughs> Alright. Throw them in my bag or in your pocket. Alex says he might have found something. What you got? This guy? I think that's just concrete. That's not it. Oh, what'd you find? Where? Oh, what was that one? This one? Yeah. That one's not very colorful under your light. No, what does it look like under your light? Oh, like this part's like the blue kind of. Alex? Oh, it blew away. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Yeah, that's really cool. That's part of the, that's part no, of the that's rock. Part of the rock. That's, that's a little fossil. Uh, it's a little fossil with a part of this big oh, concrete chunk. Ah, here's a little piece of glass. A little teeny tiny piece of glass, but it glows that bright green fluorescent color. That's so cool. So I found this neat piece of concrete, but it's got some slag that glows like bright purple. Here, flip it over for me. All that, those like purple chunks in there. We could throw that one back. And then, can I give you this guy? And then, this one also is fluorescent, but it might look better under regular light. Do you wanna give me a regular light? That's, I think, also black light. But this is a, uh, I think it's an otolith. It's a fish ear bone, also called a lucky stone. You can find, sometimes find those here in Lake Erie. So, I'm gonna keep him. Alex found a second of the little fish ear bones. 
Nice. Yeah. We found two more of the fishier bones. They are really bright under the fluorescent light. Man, you can't like see anything. There's a the city, you can see that. You see anything out this way? Not really. There's, I think, another part of a fishier bone. I think so. That one's a little weathered away. But it feels like it. Mm -hmm. Real uh, fluorescent, like calcite limestone. And this guy's got a bunch of purple glowies in him. It's like something cool. I don't know if that's a fossil or what's going on there. It's hard to uh, get a good look at it in the dark. All right, Alex found something. Let me see it under yours. Oh, under mine? All right. Oh, that's like real, real green. Or bright yellow. It's hard to see in the camera. Here, let me have your light. Wow. Alright, this one's like super, super yellow. What does it look like under the regular light? Oh, the regular light? Yeah. Oh. I think that's still, it's hard to see under this light if it's just, I think it's just slag, but it might be a, uh, some sort of igneous rock. We'll take it home and look at them better. Not everything is slag, Krista. <laughs> a lot of it is slag. There's like so much that fluoresces on this beach, but like most of it is just man-made stuff. It makes it really hard to pick out the actual rocks. Really cool, whatever it is. This one's got like pinks and purples that are fluorescing on it. When you get home, it's gonna be like a rock with paint on it. Well, we found some uh, paint on the rocks here. That uh, glows real nice. Not what we're looking for though. Another uh, painted piece there. All right guys, the beach kind of uh, tapers off here, so I think we're gonna turn around and head on back. We might look for some more along the way back, but. All right, so nothing we can take home, but this has a whole bunch of really cool fossils in it. Here, let me zoom out. This boulder's big. There's my hand for scale. But, uh, I don't know what that is. That's some sort of coral. It's probably Favocites. Uh, from Michigan, your Charlevoix stone. It's hard to explain this in the dark. And some other kind of coral down here. More coral here. Ooh! That... That might be Hexagonaria, which would be Petoskey stone. Um, if it's... If I'm right, we've got more Favocites down here, I believe. Don't quote me on that. It's dark, it's hard to see. Um, these are stones that would have been brought in as break walls, so they wouldn't have been from right here, but. That's really cool down there too. I wanna come back and look at these in the light at some point, because these are cool. There's so much coral in this rock. Look at it. Yeah, these are probably all just big chunks of Columbus limestone, given the, the types of coral that are in them. There's uh, stuff down in there. There's more that uh, someone has painted on. That's where you get the red and under the black light here. Cool. All right, Alex is walking away. Here's a nice view of the city for the outro. Um, didn't find any Uper stones, but we did find some cool slag and some cool corals that I can come back and look at during the daytime. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.